yeah, you know, we kind of are, but it's not as bad. Believe it or not, Reflections down at the Weston knows me by my first name. They're like, you want the Continental Breakfast? I'm like, checkmate. Yes, please. Let's take a look, though, right over here. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, you can see security. It's pretty much people are breezing right through, but the crowds have really picked up in the last half hour or so. And I spoke to one of my friends uh, actually on my way into work. He was getting ready to head back to one of the D.C. airports. And he and his girlfriend's flight was canceled, first delayed, then canceled on Saturday on Christmas Eve. And now they're finally going to be able to fly back to Metro Detroit today. Fingers crossed. But that's been pretty much the story for a lot of people trying to get home for the holidays. After several days of wintry weather that threw a wrench into the busiest travel weeks of the year, airlines are trying to catch up on rebooked flights for stranded passengers, creating headaches for travelers. Really nervous. It was scary. Yeah, so we're just hoping like heck that we get on this plane this morning and we get on our ship this afternoon. <laughs> Detroit Metro Airport from December 18th through January 1st is expected to have nearly 1.3 million travelers fly through Detroit Metro Airport. I was nervous because they almost canceled my, my uh, thing. We had to come up here and check and see if it was um, good. As of this morning, according to FlightAware.com, there's more than 2,500 flight cancellations within and into and out of the United States, with delays topping more than 500. I can't started traveling yesterday from Chicago on 90 minutes of sleep because, you know, it's Christmas time and busy. And then I was delayed for two hours at the airport, and I was a little frustrated because I could have been at home sleeping. Major airlines like American, Delta, United, JetBlue, Southwest, Spirit, and Alaska Airlines all issue travel waivers and rebooking windows for flyers who were impacted by Winter Storm Elliott. With flight delays and cancellations still possible, follow these tips. Purchase travel insurance, pack medications and extra clothing in your carry-on bag, check with your airline before arriving at the airport, and be nice to the airline representative rebooking your flight. Definitely be nice <laughs> to those who are helping you rebook your flight. Now, Peter, with all of these flight delays, tell us a little bit about how many are delayed and canceled today specifically. Well, according to FlightAware.com, which I just checked about two minutes ago, there are now only 45 flights canceled here at Metro Airport. And their flight delays, well, those are going up. In the first uh, half hour at 530, I said there was eight. Now there's 13 flight delays. So definitely want to check with your airline before you head out the door this morning. Go on the app, go online. Trying to get a phone call in to speak to a representative is going to be very hard because you know they're still trying to catch up with all of those other passengers and rebooking them as well. But I went downstairs as well, kind of meandered down to baggage claim, and there's hundreds of bags that have finally made it back here for those travelers who had their flights canceled. So if you've got a bag that's been, you know, kind of in transit, it's right downstairs here at the McNamara Terminal. Another headache for so many. Uh, Peter, thank you for your live reporting today and so many days during this holiday season. We do appreciate it.